Hi everyone. Today I will explain the symmetry properties of trans and two of two molecule. Before starting the, our investigation about this trans and two of two molecule, just have a look on the structure of this trans and two of two molecule. So this trans and two of two molecule structure is like that, in which two fluorine atom is there with one lone pair of the electron. When we will check the hybridization of nitrogen atom of this molecule, then we will find that each nitrogen atom is sp2 hybridized and this molecule having the word planar structure or planar geometry. Now we will investigate all the symmetry element in the given trans dinitrogen difluoride molecule one by one. So first of all we will start our investigation with the proper axis of rotation. Do this molecule is having proper axis of rotation or not? That is we will do the CN operation in the given molecule. For this investigation let draw the structure of this trans nitrogen difluoride molecule. This is the structure of trans nitrogen difluoride molecule. For our understanding, mark each fluorine atom like F1 and F2 and keep in mind that this F1 is equivalent to the F2 and this is F. Each nitrogen atom is having one set of lone pair of electron. Try to show this one. Now in this molecule many axes are there but all the axes are not the proper axis of rotation. So first ax axis which is visible for us which is the what passing through the nitrogen atom and bisecting the line joining the fluorine atom and the orbital containing the lone pair of the electron. So mark this axis as of axis number one and try to perform the C2 operation that is rotation by 180 degree about this axis number one and get a new configuration. So when we will perform the C2 operation that is rotation by 180 degree then we will get a new configuration of the same molecule which seems like that. Right and after getting this configuration when we compare the configuration B with the original configuration A then we find that B is not equivalent to the A. So this axis number one is not a proper axis of rotation. Now again one more axis is visible in this molecule. Again redraw the structure of this trans N2 of 2 molecule. Right. And this is a lone pair of the electron on each nitrogen atom. As we know that this molecule is a planar molecule and molecule is lying in the plane of the paper. So second axis which, which is visible for us, this second axis present in the molecular plane and bisecting the line joining the two nitrogen atom, right? Mark it, this is like about axis number two. And now what we do, we again do the same operation about this axis that is rotation by 180 degree that is C2 operation. After this rotation, we get a configuration of this molecule and that configuration have this argument of the fluorine atom and the lone pair of the electron and this configuration is C configuration. And when we compare the C configuration with A that is the original one and again we find that the C is not equivalent to the A. So this axis number 2 is not a proper axis of rotation. Now again third axis is visible in this molecule for this again redraw the structure of this trans N2 of 2 molecule and this is a lone pair of the electron right and just draw this plane of the molecule also for getting the better understanding of presence of the third axis. This third axis is passing through the center of the molecule and 
perpendicular to the plane of the molecule right and again we do the same operation about this molecule that is rotation by 180 degree that is C2 operation right and after this C2 operation we get a new configuration of a molecule in which the position of F2 is interchanged with the F1 and the position of F1 is interchanged with the F2 and there is an interchange in the position of lone pair of the electron and after this what we see that the new configuration D and this is the what original configuration A and when we compare D with A then we find that the new configuration D is equivalent to the A. So we can say that this molecule having the axis number 3 which is the proper axis of rotation. So this molecule having only one proper axis of rotation which is C2 which is passing through the center of the molecule and passing through the passing through the center of the molecule and perpendicular to the molecular plane. Now in this molecule only one proper axis of rotation is there so we will consider this C2 as about principal axis of rotation also. So in this molecule only one proper axis is there which is C2. Now next we will search the presence of plane of symmetry. Do this molecule have the plane of symmetry or not? Right. So for the search of this plane of symmetry again redraw the structure of trans n 2 f molecule. So this is the trans n 2 f molecule. Right. As we know that this molecule is planar and each nitrogen atom is having sp2 hybridization right so this is the molecular plane now this molecule having the plane but this plane is a plane of symmetry or not what we will do we will do the one reflection through this plane so for our better understanding let mark it this is a molecular plane now this molecular plane is a plane of symmetry or not so what we will do we will replace this molecular plane with a mirror and try to see the reflection of the molecule through the mirror or through the colored plane so again we see that new configuration we are getting of the same molecule through the colored plane and that new configuration seems to equivalent to the original one right so this A is equivalent to the new configuration. So we will consider this molecular plane is a plane of symmetry. Now there is a question. This molecular plane is a horizontal plane or vertical plane. So what we know that this molecule have only one principal axis of rotation which is passing through the center of the molecule and perpendicular to the molecular plane. So we know that the plane perpendicular to the principal axis will consider as a what horizontal plane so this sigma is your what molecular plane right and this molecular plane is nothing it is your what horizontal plane right now in this molecule one more plane is visible but that plane is not a plane of symmetry so for that for the proof let's do the reflection through that plane. Again redraw the structure of this N2 of 2 molecule right with the lone pair of the electron on each nitrogen atom. Try to show this plane of the molecule which is your what? Horizontal plane. The next plane which is present this molecule is a plane bisecting the line joining the two nitrogen atom and containing the principal axis of rotation also right so this is the plane for our understanding market right now try to see the reflection of the molecule through this mirror or through this plane so when we will see the reflection of the molecule through this plane then we will get a new configuration of the molecule 
in which the fluorine atom will look like that right because when we reflect the molecule through this plane through this mirror so this part will reflect this side and this part will reflect this side so after reflection we will get a configuration f and this configuration f is again not equal to the original one so we will not consider this plane as a plane of symmetry so now this molecule have only one plane of symmetry which is your what molecular plane right and which is your what horizontal plane right now in this molecule one more symmetry element is present which is your what inversion center for getting the idea of inversion center what we will do first we will draw the structure of this trans n2 of 2 molecule which represent the original structure of this molecule right and what we will do we will try to interchange all the atom of the given molecule through the center of the molecule so we will then we will exchange the all the atom through the center of the molecule we will get a new configuration in which the atoms around the nitrogen atom will rearrange and after this rearrangement we are getting a new configuration this E and this is the A and this E is equivalent to the A so we can say that this molecule is having inversion center right so total number of symmetry element present in this molecule is first is identity next one is c2 next one is sigma h horizontal plane and fourth one is inversion center